G'day, Adam Grokey from Johnston Grokey here with David Floyd from First on the Beach. David, thank you for coming. Pleasure. Uh, we're just going to cover off or really talk business um, in this session. And, and the main thing that most or almost all businesses out there want to do is, is learn how to grow. Like, how do I grow my business? Um, not just in revenue, but profits and, and a whole range of other things. So I think the first thing for that, David, is, is understanding where you are at in the stage of businesses. Because there's actually, believe it or not, different stages to a business. Yep, very much so. Um, clearly, most of us, uh, when we start a business, know we're a startup business, mm. uh, and then we assume that once we've got that going and uh, we've got some maturity, uh, it just we're in business. Mm. Uh, and while the I suppose the perceived final version is when we get to where we want to go, uh, and we establish a business that's everything we've ever dreamt of, mm -hmm. which mm. very rarely ever happens, uh, then that's the final version. But in mm. fact, there are five distinct phases mm. uh, of uh, of growing a business. And as you said, it's very important to understand what phase you're in, what stage you're in, uh, because each stage has a very, a very definite focus, mm -hmm. uh, a very different set of uh, systems and processes mm -hmm. and requirements. Um, and if you understand where you are within those stages of business, uh, and you understand what your focus is, then it's much easier to then uh, develop the necessary systems, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, work through that into the next stage. Mm, uh, mm. Because if you have that clear path ahead, uh, then you get a better understanding of what it is you have to do to, yeah. uh, to make that happen. And that clear path is really important because if you know what you have to do to get to the next stage of business, you can be very focused on where your effort and your activity should be. Correct, correct. Um, so can you just touch on the five stages of business then? Certainly. Uh, and what we'll do, guys, we'll, we will go high level on this and then we'll do five separate videos where we'll take a deep dive into each one of these and, and give everyone a lot more information about that because Throughout this, you might even be sitting there going, oh, that actually sounds like me. In the deep dive, you can learn about what you need to do in that stage to actually move to the next one and how to identify which stage of business you're at. Correct, correct. Well, the five distinct stages are firstly, startup, mm -hmm. uh, and that's where everybody gets going. The, uh, the focus is uh, survival, uh, mm -hmm. the focus is getting the idea uh, tested uh, mm -hmm. and making sure that they've, uh, they've got something that is uh, going to be worthwhile in, in developing. Mm -hmm. Uh, they've usually got to get their finance organised, uh, usually uh, talk to investors, uh, talk to people who are going to help them along the way, and quite often in the early stages, that's family and friends, mm, uh, yeah, but it's yeah. nonetheless a necessary uh, stage of, uh, of getting that business going. Um, the second stage is the, uh, the ramp up, uh, mm. and this is all about sales, this is mm. all about cash flow. Mm. Uh, we, we, the idea is slowly being developed, uh, and unless, and I should make a very clear um, differentiation here, we're not talking about a tech startup, mm -hmm. uh, which quite often uh, is a totally different to what we talk about in terms of mainstream business startups. A tech startup's one where uh, you've got a great idea, you probably invested, you've got people investing millions of dollars. Uh, mm -hmm. It will it will either run within a very short period or it will fall over. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about the the more traditional startup, mm -hmm. uh, and then once you've got past that phase, then it's the ramp up, mm -hmm. where the idea is started to bed down. You're getting your market sorted. Mm -hmm. And really it's about cash flow, it's about making sales, uh, it's about being able to validate the idea further mm -hmm. uh, and also make it profitable mm -hmm. uh, as quickly mm -hmm. as possible. Mm -hmm. So that's really the focus of the second stage. And so just on that, so if you're in the startup phase, what you will be feeling is you're, you're very much a owner that is in control of everything, charging forward, making a number of quick decisions and just trying to get stuff happening, aren't you? Oh, very much owner dependent. Owner dependent, and you certainly hope you're in control, but the reality is in the startup mm -hmm. phase, you, you usually aren't. You have no mm -hmm. control. In fact, control really only comes in stage five, mm -hmm. but uh, we perceive we have control, mm -hmm. but that's a fallacy because in the first stage, you are literally doing everything, yes. um, and you're not so much out of control as literally um, flying by the seat of your pants mm -hmm. in many respects, mm -hmm. uh, trying to hold it all together. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and that's where... And stage two is the ramp up. You mm. start to, to build the sales. You start to, I suppose, start to see the first results of, of your mm. idea. You start to get uh, people who, who uh, are buying your product regularly. You start to realise that this is going to work. Yeah. Uh, you start to get some excitement. You start to get maybe... Some reward as well. Well, you get some reward. Mm. You get testimonials mm. going, this is great. Keep mm. up the good work. So, of course, you're buoyed by that. Mm. Uh, and mm. that's good. Uh, but there are also necessary uh, development stages you need to go through. Mm, At that mm. stage, you need to start bringing on additional staff and additional resources. Mm. Uh, they won't be systemized yet. They'll mm. be just adding to the chaos of, of just getting going and getting things uh, uh, moving up. 
Um, the third phase is really where you start to, to systemize that. We call that the build-up phase. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is literally where uh, systems uh, become very important. Mm -hmm. It's where you start to uh, look at all the things you need to do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. uh, and unless you start to systemize those, document, create processes, etc., uh, then, of course, you're continually running around still with, the, with your head cut off. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Ironically, most people get caught in stage three, mm. the build-up mm -hmm. phase, uh, and it's, a, it's a just trying to get out of ramp up and into build-up, uh, and that's where most of them get stuck. Mm -hmm. uh, because until such time as you can, can systemise your business mm. uh, and start to look very critically at the, uh, the goals you have long-term for that business, and of course start to bring in people who will help you uh, move in that direction, mm -hmm. uh, then it's, it's still very much a, a stage two, stage three. Do, do you see that? Because um, the build-up stage for me is all really around building the foundations that then will Correct. kick you into the next stage, which is scale-up. Um, do, do you think it's harder for businesses when they've come out the ramp-up, ramp-up's all about marketing and sales, and um, to go, hang on, instead of spending money on the marketing and sales, we've actually got to spend it on things that aren't necessarily going to produce instant results now from revenue, but it's building those foundations, the automation, the systems, the networks, the CRM system, everything that's going to allow you to go to the next phase. Do you think that's sometimes a barrier for people to step through that, that build-up? It is, uh, for both that reason, the fact that it's a necessary part of building the foundation, but also in terms of the characters of the business, uh, the characters mm. of the business owners, many of them have been sort of entrepreneurial, mm -hmm. um, they were very good at what they did mm -hmm. uh, in terms mm -hmm. of maybe a skill that they turned into their business. Um, so they've had to break away from being the technician uh, and become an entrepreneur, and that's great. Mm. But there's also that third characteristic that you need to have in business, and that is the manager. Mm. Uh, and not all, uh, not all our entrepreneurs are necessarily good managers, mm. so while they're screaming ahead, uh, if they can't do it themselves, then they need to bring in, in, into uh, uh, place uh, people who can manage the business yeah. for them yeah. and start to create the systems mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. processes. And more importantly, if they can't duplicate what's being done on a daily basis and mm. do that consistently, then the business will never grow. Yeah. Uh, it will only ever be a job for the, for the owners and the staff, yeah. uh, as opposed to an opportunity to uh, really develop a, a, a vehicle that ultimately will give them all the freedom they're looking mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. um, so the build-up's a very important stage, and in, in many respects, uh, it's probably the longest phase of business mm -hmm. because it is laying those foundations. Um, it's also, again, as I said, one of the, uh, the, the area where most people will get stuck mm -hmm. uh, because until such time as they've laid those solid foundations, and while we may have goals and visions and all those things are critically important, uh, they can't be executed unless you have a foundation yeah. on which you can do that. Yeah. But once that's done, and uh, again, you've got key people coming into your business in key areas of your business, mm -hmm. uh, whether that be in the sales area, whether that be in systems, whether that be in HR, um, that are starting to take the pressure off you as the owner of the business, and until it happens, nothing else will change. Mm -hmm. uh, then, of course, we have the uh, uh, we have the uh, scale up the scale next up. phase. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, but, but when you're um, when you're talking about this, I'm imagining if you look at it from mm -hmm. a graph, you sort of you know start up and you sort of you know you sort of just doing your thing, and then you go you you grow and then you go up through that. Um, uh, that next phase which, which is ramping up but then you almost plateau a little bit through the building and then the scale up's that next exciting let's yeah. take on the world again and see what we can do the the key thing of course is that there's no specific time that you need to spend in each stage mm. um, you can you can whip through the stages very quickly you can't go from stage one to stage four mm. Mm. you have to go through stage two and stage yeah. three um, but you don't have to be there for a long period of time but yeah. you've got to do the necessary work yeah. but yes you're right stage three the build-up is usually the longest uh, and once those foundations are laid and you're feeling comfortable, then yes, excitement, opportunities, and again, by being organised and having systems, that gives you the opportunity to look at new things, to yeah. look at new opportunities. Uh, and in that sense, usually the scale-up happens, and, and that's where you have the ability to take the business from being where it is today to literally being as big as you want, yeah. uh, as successful yeah. as you want. Yeah. Uh, and it's the difference between, again, having a job and having a business that's scalable, that's consistent, that has real value mm. uh, and is sellable. Mm. Um, mm. And I say that not because all businesses uh, will necessarily be sold, the owners mm. may not want to do that. But if the business is not in a form that is sellable, mm. then it has no value to anybody yeah. else yeah. and intrinsically has no value to you. So the final phase, and we call it the 2020 mm -hmm. phase, mm -hmm. which is the owner independent stage mm. of a business growth, uh, it's not really a stage as such as, as opposed to a destination. 
Mm. Once you've got everything in place and, and the business is scaling uh, and you have all the systems in place, you have the right people uh, that, are, that are working with you to achieve the goals and the visions that you have, then you finally come to the, to the, to the realisation that you have a choice. Mm. You can sell the business, you mm -hmm. can continue to, to grow it and do other things, uh, or you can run it passively and go mm. off and do other things that you're passionate about. Yeah. But yeah. until those other four stages have been completed, stage five is only ever a dream. Yeah. Uh, and while we all hold that, uh, very few of us actually get there. Yeah. And look, the reality is is that um, that is the destination, the reward, and where you want to be heading. And, yeah. and like you said, you can't go from stage one to owner independence straight away. You need to actually step through stage two, three, and four and Correct. follow that path. So we'll take a deep dive into each one of these. So keep watching the videos. Uh, we will have available for download the five stages and yes. some information around that so we're giving you guys some good valuable content try and identify where you sit in that as well because that's really interesting because then you know where you are it also means you know what to do to move out of that to the next stage thank you very much for your time for watching david thank you for your insights it's been fantastic uh watch out for the next videos thank you